I've got my blue jacket on, which is purely a style statement, correct? Yeah, it looks more like a tent than a, than a fashion statement. I like the sleeves here. It's got like a kind of a nice parachute sleeve feel. They're carbon impregnated, so they keep the electrostatic electricity from our clothing away from the products. Can I wear it outside of work? If you want to. Hello everyone and welcome to Behind the Scenes at Tate. I'm here with Aaron Robinson, Production Manager at Tate, and we are in the Manufacturing Facility. Aaron, how are you? Very well, thanks. How's it going? Excellent. So, one of the cool things to me about Tate is that we actually do build all of our radios in-house. Uh, why did we make that decision to do it here and not outsource it? Originally, we designed and developed our products in-house. We've carried on with that model. Over the years, we've tested that against many other suppliers for outsourcing, and we come back as being extremely competitive. We're also very agile. We can do the small orders. We can do quick turnaround, and it gives us control over our own business yeah. rather than being reliant on outsourcing. Quality is a given no matter whether you do uh, outsource it or whether you build it in-house. So we have some pretty intense machines around here. Uh, what are these guys actually doing? They place all our service mount devices. Uh, one line is for the infrastructure product. Uh, these two lines in behind us here are for our mobiles and portables, the high volume products. They have the faster machines. And the fourth line over the back there is for accessories and small runs. Um, this area does run 24 hours a day and uh, five days a week and places in the region of a million parts a day. Wow, a million. Okay. So most of our products get a functional test. So yep. they test 60-80% of the board and it's about our third quality check along the production line and uh, this is our first electrical verification that the products are working. Cool. So the graphical screen tells you there's a board on there and there's a queue of boards waiting to come into the test equipment here. Okay, this machine right here is what I call the Tate Tupperizer. It is currently making these things waterproof, IP67, and now you know. So something I've heard you guys talk about before is lean manufacturing. Can you explain what that is and why we do it? Okay, so lean essentially is about uh, elimination of waste and uh, the way we go about that is to uh, have lines that build to tack times, which is the rate at which customers are buying from us. We set ourselves up to build at that rate so we don't have any waste of overbuilding product or having to hold finished goods product as a buffer so that we can get stock in there. So it allows us to uh, keep the minimum amount of inventory and yep. the minimum amount of stock in our finished goods area. So we can increase or decrease the speed at which we're producing to meet demands, correct? Yes, and we do that weekly um, to match what the current forecast and current uh, demand is from customers. So, you know, we can double our production within a week. Makes our lives easier as well. Um, and as a key point of that, means our costs are kept as low as possible. We are currently exiting the building because of a fire drill. Okay, well, hey, Aaron, thank you so much for giving us a tour. And even though the fire alarm was a bit inconvenient, the nice thing is you can see all the different tape people together who make these radios possible. So, Aaron, thank you so much for showing us around. This was really informative. Hey, thanks a lot for coming and having a look and seeing what us guys get up to. Yeah, great. <laughs>